Last week, I asked ChatGPT to help me with some marketing strategies for my channel. It gave me three beautiful plans with timelines, metrics, and framework. And afterwards, I was sitting there for 20 minutes, feeling more confused than when I first started. What scared me the most is that I almost went with the first one just because it sounded smart. This is when I realized that AI isn't giving us more options. It's also making it very easy to skip thinking altogether. We're in the middle of a massive shift. AI can strategize, plan, and analyze faster than we ever could. But here's the catch that a lot of people aren't talking about. Every time we hand over our thinking to AI, we are weakening the exact skills that we need to use AI more effectively and more efficiently. It's like using autocorrect to handle all of our writing and then be surprised when we can't spell specific words by hand. The real danger isn't just losing these skills. It's losing the ability to evaluate whether AI's advice actually will improve your situation. We start accepting well-formatted responses without questioning if they fit our reality. The people who will thrive in the age of AI aren't necessarily the ones that can prompt better, but they will be the ones that can think better. Because AI doesn't think. It predicts and pattern matches. And pattern matching without critical thinking is how you end up confidently wrong. So what exactly is critical thinking? And how can we use it effectively with AI instead of passively following AI's lead? Critical thinking isn't just thinking hard. It's more intentional than that. Experts do have different takes on what critical thinking is. Some believe it's logic reasoning. Some call it healthy skepticism. Others focus on reflection and judgment. What I find most helpful is Stanford's definition. Critical thinking is careful thinking directed to a goal. The word directed is key. It's purposeful thinking aimed at making better decisions. When it comes to working with AI, there are three specific skills that come to the forefront. First, analysis. Can you tell the difference between claims, evidence, and opinions? When AI gives you a response, can you spot what's missing and what's questionable? The second is problem solving. Can you break down complex, real-world problems into parts that fit your constraint and resources? And lastly, we have judgment. Can you make decisions when you don't have perfect information and own the consequences? The paradox here is this. The better AI gets, the more these critical thinking skills matter. AI will confidently give you advice on business strategies, health decisions, financial planning, and creative choices. Most of it will be well-formatted information that doesn't really fit your situation, but sounds authoritative enough to follow. The people who are getting ahead aren't using AI to avoid thinking. They're using AI to amplify their thinking. They're the ones that's asking follow-up questions, testing assumptions, and making decisions using their own judgment about what fits their context. Think of AI as an eager assistant who can find any information you request, but can't really tell what matters to your goals, your constraints, and your situation. Let me show you what I mean. Here's what I get when I asked AI to help me with marketing strategies for my channel. Sounds professional, right? It's detailed, actionable, and confident. But look at what it doesn't know. My audience values depth over trends. I can only make a video a week. I'm interested in building long-term trust, not viral moments. This advice isn't wrong. It's just not for me. Without critical thinking, I would have followed a strategy that's designed for someone else's situation. The solution isn't as simple as better prompts. It's about bringing your own thinking to every AI interaction. The good news is you can strengthen these skills every time you use AI. Here are three practices that can help you improve your critical thinking and decision-making skills. First is the context check. Before asking AI anything important, pause and write down your context. Start with what your goal is. What about your constraint? What will happen if this goes wrong? 
This single step can eliminate most irrelevant AI advice because now you have criteria for what's useful to you and your situation. The says who reflects. When AI gives you any statistics, data, research, or expert opinions, immediately ask says who, then investigate the real source. I've caught AI citing non-existent studies, outdated data, and even biased sources. This habit alone will save you from using misinformation. The change my mind test. Adam Grant, a professor from Wharton and the author of Think Again, advocates for a questioning technique from motivational interviewing that we can turn inward ourselves. In motivational interviewing, instead of arguing with people, you ask open-ended questions that help people examine their own beliefs. We can use the same approach for AI-assisted decisions. When trying to decide whether to take a course of action based on AI advice, ask yourself, what evidence would change my mind? This isn't about second guessing. It is about creating the psychological safety for you to reassess when new information emerges. Write down specific and observable evidence that would make you reconsider. For example, I'll reconsider this marketing strategy if engagement drops by 20% after two weeks, or if three customers say they feel disconnected from our brand value and identity. This approach helps you avoid getting locked in by AI-generated plans that aren't working for you because you clearly identify the criteria for when it's time to pivot and move on. AI isn't going away. It's getting faster and more persuasive every month. If you don't develop these critical thinking skills now, you're not just going to fall behind. You're going to become dependent on systems that sound smart, but is too generic to be useful to you. I'm already seeing this happen. Business owners adopting AI-generated advice that ignores their market reality. Students submitting papers with AI-generated arguments that they cannot defend. Content creators following content strategies that don't match their audience. The future belongs to the people who can think with AI, not the ones that let AI think for them. And the difference is the critical thinking skills applied consistently. Here's how you can put critical thinking in use. Pick one decision you're facing where you might normally ask AI for help. Before you do, try the context check. You don't need fancy descriptions, just a few lines indicating your goals, your constraints, and the stakes. Then ask AI and pay attention to how much more relevant the information in the response becomes. Finally, apply the change my mind test. Your change trigger is your sanity check. It stops you in the tracks of being confidently wrong. Try this and you'll be able to see the difference from using AI as a crutch and using AI as your thinking partner. If this video helped you understand the importance of critical thinking skills in the age of AI and how to leverage the critical thinking skills to amplify your intelligence, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and the newsletter. Links are in the description box. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.